Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let's take a look at blocking websites on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So I'm going to show you two ways to block websites on your Mac. First you can use System Settings and Screen Time to block a website. But it's kind of awkward to do so. It doesn't work very well. So go into System Settings and from there go to Screen Time. So one place you can go to block websites here is App Limits. If you go to App Limits and you add a limit then you go to the bottom there's Websites. and You can expand that here and it will show you websites that you put limits on before or ones that you're currently viewing. And You can also add a website here. Let me add example.com and you can see only the ones that are checked have limits applied. Now the limits a certain amount of time per day that it's visible on the screen. and You can't use zero. So I can't click Done here because this is set to zero. If I select Minutes and I go to One then I can click Done. I could also set custom limits for every day but each day has to be set to at least one minute or you can't use the Done button there. So if you set this to one minute and you click Done then you can only go to the checked websites for one minute a day. This isn't very effective. First of all it's one minute of visible time. So if you switch between apps it actually seems to last a long time. And Second, what you really want to do is block the websites completely. One minute is not good enough. So instead back here in Screen Time we're going to go to Content and Privacy. And we're going to turn that on. and Then we're going to turn on Content Restrictions and the first item here is Access to Web Content. Now the options are either Unrestricted Access Allowed websites only or limit adult websites. There's no option here to simply block a few websites and allow everything else. Well, it doesn't seem like there is. Actually, limit adult websites is that option. So it's kind of awkward to choose that because it's not exactly what you want, but it'll get the job done. Then you have a list of allowed and restricted sites here. And this is where you could add a website. So I could add a site like that there. Now that's restricted. Now you can't go to that website at all. And now if we go in here in Safari and we try to go to this website and it doesn't seem to work right away. But after a short amount of time it suddenly will be blocked. But if we switch to another browser like for instance Chrome and I go to the site it works perfectly fine. Screen Time of course is integrated into Apple's apps like Safari. But a third party app like Chrome made by Google doesn't use Screen Time. So it's not going to block this site. The same thing with Firefox. It doesn't pay any attention to screen time. So if you're setting this up to block web access to sites for a child say this isn't very useful. You'd have to set it up where they don't have any other apps available to them and you block access to the App Store and all of that. So there is another method to do it. One that's been around for a long time and doesn't involve screen time at all. But it does involve using the terminal. So you want to launch terminal and then you're going to edit what's called the hosts file. To do that you're going to need admin permissions. So you want to start with sudo which will give you admin permissions but it's going to ask for your password. And Then you're going to do nano which is a simple text editor that's easy to use and you're going to edit slash etc slash hosts. It's going to ask for the password and now you're editing the special hosts file. The lines that are already there you want to leave completely alone. You don't want to edit these at all. That's very important. So you want to just Use the down arrow to go down to the bottom and then maybe return to insert a blank line. And this is where you'll put new stuff. Any site you want to block, you just want to type 127.0.0.1. That's just the local address of your Mac. So, of course, if you try to go to a website, it's not on your Mac, it's out on the internet. So, setting it to this will mean that it simply won't work. Then you're going to Tab and then put the name of the site. So, I'll type example.com. Here. Let's do another one. Let's do yahoo.com. And now you're going to do Control X to exit and it's going to ask do you want to save and you'll say Y for yes and then return because you're going to save it with the same name. And now that's saved. Now let's try to go to example.com. Remember I turned the screen time setting off. So when I try to go here you can see it simply says can't connect to the server. And I can see here in Safari yahoo.com still works. So here are some troubleshooting tips. First of all notice that the domain here is www.yahoo.com. So back in Terminal let's edit that file again and let's add 
that as well. And you would also need to add others like for instance finance.yahoo.com or mail.yahoo.com. And let's save that. Next we want to make sure in Safari under Settings Privacy that we're not using hide IP address from trackers. That will bypass the host file using a special privacy feature and so it won't pay attention to the ones we want to block. If I refresh you can see it still shows up. So try quitting Safari and going back in and now you can see it blocks. There are also a variety of commands you can use in the terminal if it just doesn't seem to be working. This one here will clear out the cache of IP addresses that your Mac has that could temporarily give your Mac the ability to still show the website if you've just made the change. But you really shouldn't need to do this anymore. It's worth trying though especially if you are using an older version of Mac OS. And another command is this one as well. Use that after clearing the cache to kind of reset things for looking up IP addresses. And of course remember that you've got this set here as it should be blocking all web browsers and all users on the Mac. So you want to make sure that you get rid of it if you want to restore access. An easy way to do that without having to retype everything the next time you want to use it is to put a pound or hash symbol just before each line. That comments it out so this is considered a comment not an actual command. And now when I save this because I have those there I can now return to yahoo.com and example.com and they'll work fine. Another thing you may want to consider that goes beyond just your Mac is actually blocking websites at the router level. So how to do this varies very much depending upon what sort of network equipment you've got. You either have an app maybe on your phone or a special web address that you can go to on any browser and you can change the settings on your Wi-Fi equipment so that it blocks certain websites for the entire household. So look into that if you want something more comprehensive. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.